We're in Palmerston, checking out some of the little towns around the area. It's a beautiful Saturday. We're just paying our respects in a tiny township called Dunbeck and uh, all over New Zealand there are these um, amazing monuments. They are remembrance mon monuments for soldiers who fought in World War I um, and often a lot of them include uh, soldiers that fought in subsequent wars as well. But uh, after World War I these um, were constructed all over New Zealand. Now back in World War I, New Zealand only had a population of about 1 million people and 100,000 New Zealanders served in World War I, 100,000. That was 10% of the population. Um, after the war ended, about 40,000 had been injured and 18,000 never came home uh, alive. I love the fact that these uh, memorials were constructed, no matter the size of the town, somewhere where families could come in subsequent years to pay their respects and remember the fallen and those that had served our country um, and the countries of our allies. So we decided to stop here. It's beautiful here and we wanted to get some shots and it reminds us a lot of Lord of the Rings. just in a small town called McRae's. Uh, back in 1864 this was a uh, pumping little uh, town with about 25 businesses. It was at the heart of the uh, gold rush, New Zealand southern gold rush back then. Nowadays the uh, pubs really uh, the only thing that's sort of still operating here. Um, the gold mine, there's, a, there's an open cast gold mine that still operates uh, a few miles down the road. Yeah, it's a nice place to stop on this little route that we're taking. Great thing about the motorcycle culture, we uh, just ran into a couple of bikers who were uh, heading up to Central, and um, we were just having a having a cider at the pub at the same time, so we had a good yarn, and yeah, it was really, really nice. So, so nice. yeah, love being out here on the motorcycles. We've literally just stopped in the middle of nowhere, but you have got to see these views. This is a cairn that was erected uh, in memory of those who died in the Hyde train accident of uh, 1943, June 4th, I think. And um, the beauty of it, it's more or less in the middle of nowhere, but uh, they still keep the area around it mowed. 
so people can come and commemorate uh, the folks that were lost. It's really pretty. Just a little area around it is mowed and there's a wee seat to sit at and there's Mrs Kiwi Rider. <laughs> Righto guys, we've been on the road probably for about six hours now and uh, my bum sore. <laughs> so uh, we're going to sign off now. Take care. See ya.